Uh. What's up, everybody? Yeah, to them ones that was telling me in my earlier videos how I ran would never do what they just did. Yeah, so there you go. Sometimes people just know everything. I make a video. You always have them ones that want to comment the stupid shit. And when I talked about what was upcoming with Iran and Israel, half of these commenters talking about how stupid I am. Iran knows better and so forth. So now how do you look? How do you look? Iran done pulled the trigger now. And I'm getting, I got no try here. I'm getting uh, messages of the second wave has left Iran and is on the way to Israel now. So it's bad over there right now, people. It's bad over there right now. It's over with, to be completely honest with you. That chicken apocalypse that Lou used to talk about, you're about to see what he meant. What does my shirt say? My shirt says, I held AMC since 2021, and all I got was this stinking shirt. I made that. When there was a, a oh, they know that ain't a prelude. We in World War Three. Russia's already done sent word. The United States better not get involved between Israel and Iran. And what do we do? Jordan allowed the U.S. and the U.K. British forces to help shoot down these missiles and drones that were coming from Iran to Israel. So that has put the United States and Britain into the war already. Now they're waiting on Russia and China's response to the United States and Britain getting in the middle of Iran and Israel's war. But I'm pumped. Whew. That was a lot to have to say. <laughs> but yeah, I, I wanted a, some mementos, you know. I wanted to, uh, something to remember this play by. And uh, I didn't like none of the pr products that I was seeing. So I created a Shopify. And the whole purpose of that Shopify was to create the products that I would want to wear. Like my shirts here, my CSI shirt, my Ape Strong Together shirt. And I made me some coffee mugs. And then once I did that and a few people in the Discord bought them. And I shut it down because I was just wanting some mementos like this. We and this is bad, people. Yeah, y'all know what the next step is, huh? Y'all know what happens next. I'm not seeing anything on the news right now about it. And I'm wondering why they had to know. Salty dog, you got one of the coffee mugs? Iced tea tonight. You ain't seen crazy yet, Eugene. Crazy's coming. You know what makes me mad is you got these two motherfuckers talking shit to one another. Iran and Israel. And they've decided, fuck it. Let's let's do it. Let's pull the trigger. And where do they go? They're down in a fucking bunker while all of these missiles and drones are headed to their country, destroying their people. And Netanyahu's down in a bunker somewhere. And you the one started the shit when he when he fired on uh Damascus. And Iran got pissed off because that's Iran land, and they fucking shot at Damascus. You're the one starting all this. That's my opinion. I, that's one of the targets. All right. Uh, hey, Jamie. Uh, seven missiles have hit 
the Ramon Air Base in Israel. And reports say also that some of the missiles were headed for Jerusalem. They don't have a damage report yet. But people, do you understand the significance of striking Jerusalem? Oh, my God. That's... That ain't just attacking Israel. That's right. You should be on the front line. You the one talking shit. Get out there and punch him in his nose. You're going to talk shit about how you're going to whoop somebody's ass and then you want your brother go out there and fight for you. And you go in the house and cry and hide like a bitch. That's exactly what Netanyahu and Biden and uh, the Iranian motherfucker, they all in their bunkers. So they don't mind killing us. They think there's too many people on earth anyway. Who started it? It all depends on on how far you want to go back to who started it. You would say that it started October 7th with Hamas crossing from Gaza into Israel. So when people talk about, oh, the beginning was when Hamas did that. That's not the beginning. That's not the beginning when this started. But Israel had no right to strike Damascus. I don't care if they if Hamas is in the wrong for what happened on October 7th, and they are. But Israel had no no right to hit Damascus. Uh, the Iranian generals and shit was that whether you wait for them to come out, just like Trump waited when he hit Salamanca or whatever the fuck that bitch's name was. Yeah, when they crossed on over, he said, now nah, take that bitch out. You didn't have to hit Iranian territory. You did that shit to cause this. They doing this shit to start all of this, people. That's just my opinion. Hamas is an Iranian proxy group, Elijah. FINRA fraud. Some people are asking me to do a video on the CAT system, and I've started working on some slides, but I, what's up, Jaina? We just talking about the war and what I was going on, what to expect. Did y'all see the protest here in America today? De chanting death to America? These bitches are already in this country, people. And now that the war has started over there, and I mean, it's full-fledged at going at it now with one another, it's coming to our homeland. In the next couple of days, when I wrote the book, 120, 2025, me and my brother had discussed it, and we decided to go with the date 120, 2025, because that was inauguration day. But the whole book is about how the sleeper cells were here in America. And when the war starts, what the sleeper cells are activated to do. Y'all ought to go read that book or listen to it on the other channel. It's a good story. That's about to happen here in America. <laughs> End of the week, I hear you. You better get out and smoke whatever you're going to smoke now. You better call your weed man and tell him drop you some off as quick as he can. Because we're going to be, it's going to go to martial law. We're fixing to have martial law in this country, people. That's what I tried to tell y'all. Y'all want to talk about AMC? We'll talk about AMC, no big deal. But I told y'all, in the next week or two, you're not going to give a fuck about AMC because the shit's hitting the fan right now. Watch. Mark my words. By Thursday 
or Monday or next week, y'all gonna not gonna give a fuck about what the price of AMC is. Cause it's just gonna be hitting the fan over here. What's up, Mark? Salty. End of the week. Jason Wolverines. Man, don't you know? Okay. If we go to war with Iran, what do y'all think that means? Which, I mean, we're not, if we go to war, we're in war because they told us not to do what we did. We did it anyway. And now Russia and China, China's fixing to take Taiwan. There went all y'all's car computer chips. It's the end of the world. Not quite yet. This is just the beginning. Just the beginning. And I'm going to be here for as long as the Lord lets me be here to talk to y'all. Mark Roger, Eugene, Mike, Mike. He ain't going to get up here, bitch. You know you're not going to get up here. Boom, boom, we're going to come get over here. I don't want to play. No, go away. I'm on, I'm doing a live, bitch. They mad. I ran out of treats and didn't go get them none. So they mad at me. Go on. Go play. Speech, go on. I can't ever get on them and then, then not reach over there and love on them, huh? The Antichrist, I gave y'all all the clues. Jesus had to tell his disciples. Uh, he did have ears to hear. Let him hear. You know the warning signs. You know all the warning signs to the Antichrist. So it ought to be pretty simple for you. <laughs> I didn't mean I ran. I mean, I didn't go get them none. You eat crayons, Dana? I ain't heard that one in a while. So what y'all think? What y'all think's next? First thing you have to take into consideration is if you're at war with Iran, what do you do with the Iranians that are in this country? I know what they did to the Japanese during World War II. Are you about to see that? Yeah, they're going to be picking people up. People are going to start getting picked up now. They're not going to have that. You cannot be chanting death to America on our streets. And we at war? That shit ends tonight. They'll have it for one more day, probably tomorrow. We'll see when the army goes down there and picks their asses up for that death to America bullshit to a camp. That's what they did to Japanese. Do not, do not. People, I, I love y'all to death. And some people, I just don't understand if you're really crazy or if you just be difficult on purpose. Because if you don't think they will start scooping motherfuckers up and put them in a camp somewhere, you're out your mind. We perfected that shit in World War II. 
Everybody remembers the Holocaust and the Jews. What about the fucking Japanese? They were Japanese Americans. It's about to get bad, badder than anybody that can actually see. Who watches Canadian Prepper? Anybody watch Canadian Prepper? Hit that like button. There's almost 100 people here. Canadian Prepper, I was watching him today, and he was talking about Something was running up, and then the plunge protection team stepped in. And I said, oh, wait a minute. What does he know about the plunge protection team? It almost makes me want to go watch a few videos to find out who they are. But I know Biggums is big on the plunge protection team. And I heard Canadian Pepper bring it up today. Who's Canadian prepper? Google it, man. He's a very famous uh, end time prepper guy. I don't take, I take him more as a grain of salt. I watch New York prepper. He's pretty good. In fact, I got him on right now. I just hadn't got an update, but he's keeping everybody updated. New York prepper, good channel. And if you want to know, hit the like button, people. If you want to know what's going on over there, you don't have to wait on the news. You know that, right? You can just go to YouTube and YouTube the live feed for Jerusalem, the live feed for, because all that shit's live. And you can, you can watch in about the next 40 minutes. I'd say 30 minutes. You could turn on the Jerusalem live feed. And if Iran has shot a second wave of drones, missiles, and ballistic missiles, cruise missiles and ballistic missiles, if they shot a second wave, they'll be landing. And you can see it going on on the live feed from Jerusalem. Same thing with Iran. Iran has live feeds. You can see when the shit starts hitting the fan, you check out the different live feeds and you can see what's going on. That way you you know not to fall for bullshit. I, Mark, I agree. See, they listen. I don't know where we went wrong. Okay, when it comes to free speech, all right. I am a constitutionalist. Okay, uh, I believe in the Constitution. I don't believe it's a living document that changes of whatever it says. It fucking says, and I believe in freedom of speech. But then you have to have limits to freedom of speech, too. All right. Then you got to talk about, well, who sets the limits to the freedom of speech and so forth and so on. So it just made me how none of these motherfuckers can ever come together and agree. They always got to be party line motherfuckers. I'm, I'm Democrat. I can't agree with him. I'm, I'm Republican. I can't agree with you. You do what's right for the country. Canadian Prepper was talking about the plunge protection team. That's why I brought him up. Yeah. 
See, I can't pick at this time of the night. I can't just play with one. If I go to touch one, all of them want to play. She gonna beat me up and make me play with her. Well, if they institute a draft, I mean, I got to ask a question. Where are you going to draft them to? The Middle East? You're going to need soldiers here at home. That's where the threat is right now. The threat has moved. It's not over there no more. The threat is here in America right now. And believe me, they're fixing to do it. You know why? Because I got a, in my book that me and my brother wrote, 120, 2025, y'all need to check that out. The terrorists steal 18 wheelers and they go park them under overpasses and stuff and they're going to blow them up and destroy that infrastructure. It's in the book that I, me and my brother wrote. Well, I was watching YouTube yesterday, and I'd be damned if somebody didn't steal an 18-wheeler and he drove it into the driver's license bureau because they denied him a fucking license. So he went and stole an 18-wheeler and drove it into the building, and I said, there it is. It only takes one. Once one does something, it becomes a chain reaction. And I see that that's one of the ways that the terrorists are probably going to attack, stealing 18 wheelers full of fuel, parking them motherfuckers under bridges, running them in concerts. I'm telling y'all, y'all people watch motherfuckers like Thomas James is going to be making videos next week talking about AMC squeezing in the middle of World War III. Will AMC squeeze because of World War III? Iran attacks Israel. Does that mean the shorts are going to have to cover? My God. Angelo's saying that because of this. Angelo's saying that he believes just wait till Monday. You're going to be fine. The fuck out. You're going to find the fuck out what it means by why do you think it's going to tank? You become a billionaire practically if you have any puts on the market. Now, I wouldn't think they'd do a draft because you need your people here. You're not going to need them overseas. And most of these states aren't going to do a draft. Can you see Florida or Texas going along with a draft to send the men overseas and you've got all these fucking terrorists in this country? They won't do it. That's the next thing. Are we headed for a civil war? And did you ever see it being this type of civil war? Joseph, next Tuesday, they're going to have a black swan fly over. I think the market's fucked. And don't forget, see how bad they've got all of this financial system in? You do realize these are the motherfuckers that rule the world. All right. They rule the world. They are the ones that's pulling the strings. They cause wars. And I mean the Black Rocks, the Citadels. And yes, they will start the fucking war to crash the market so they can erase a lot of the bullshit they've been doing. I guess I'll, I'll be featured on the CNN network for saying that.
Uh, should you average down? I got to tell you if that's a good idea or not. At this price, I have no money or I would be averaging down like a motherfucker. Now, does that, does I think, do I think it'll squeeze? It depends, people. It depends on how long they want this to last that's going on right now. See, I can't give a time frame on when they're going to stop because Iran initially said completed. They were done. And then an hour and a half later, more drones are taken off. We could see, of course. We could see 20, 50, 72. We could see up to 500. I seen GME do it. Can it do it? Yes. Will it do it? Look at the look at the conditions. Yeah, I got the memo. Adam Aaron is behind the Israeli attack. You knew who win. You knew who win. Watch her. Watch her when I hit that spot. Watch her face when I hit that spot. <laughs> what? Breaking you down, little girl. Breaking you down. I love it when she does that. Go away. I don't love none of y'all. Come here, man. I ran. Yeah, I ran took responsibility. And they said the United States better not get involved. And we did. Well, yeah, I ran took. They left Iranian land. I mean, what the fuck they going to say? Where all them missiles come from? We didn't shoot them. <laughs> oh, I hear you. Y'all know how many people are going to die in this? I see some people are excited about it. And all I can say is, y'all do realize how many people are going to die in this. That's why I, I love reading the Bible and sitting back and meditating. And it says, two-thirds of the planet, two-thirds of the planet will die. In the next coming years, in the next couple of years, have you thought about how many people that is? What's two thirds of nine, six? So you're looking at about five, six billion people dead. So let's bring it on. Okay. Just get ready because that means. Two out of three people are going to be dead. Look to your left and look to your right. Two out of three people are going to be dead. So, see, that's when I talk about the end times and the Bible and, and 
Bible prophecy. You think I don't have all that in mind? So what's next? Well, I would think they warned the United States not to get involved, and they did. So if I was Iran, my next thing would be to activate my sleeper cells over here. They're already here. We don't know what their plans are, but you got Iranian Russian, Chinese, Venezuelan, every fucking immigrant, and not the good immigrants, not the ones wanting to come over here and go to work immigrants in the world over here right now. Thank you, Jeremiah. Jeremiah, the weeping prophet. If there's still a stock market, I got to wait. But if there's still a stock market, by the end of the month, yeah, I'm buying more. I'm just hoping it don't run up too fast before I can fucking get in. Average back down. That's bar and we have a stock market. And I can imagine now the people that's going to talk shit because I said that the war is going to do something cause us not to have a stock market and it's of course everybody's predicting this fucking crash don't y'all see they're going to use this for the reason for it <clears throat> so i'll be on the cnn network with that conspiracy i ain't got no cash either We're in the end game. If you mean for AMC, I believe that. I believe it's going to go down this time with AMC too. Either they're going to get their anti-takeover measures lifted, and whoever, and it looks like it's going might be Disney, uh, which I totally disagree with. Knowing that it could be Disney is why I would vote no. Woke ass fucking. Bitch ass company. I'd rather Amazon have it. And Amazon, Amazon has a production studio. They bought MGM. So you have a studio and you have a streaming service. And the only thing you need would be what? Theaters. So if Amazon would be a good buy. Or, like Uncle Frank says, Apple. Apple's got to come up with something. They can't have. You talk about GameStop and how they don't have a marketing plan. What about fucking Apple? You can only come out with so many new fucking phones. Me and Uncle Frank, I laugh when Uncle Frank gets on that boy. He gets passionate about Apple. Apple's got to come up with a plan. They ought to buy. You got Apple TV. Hit the like button, please. And if you're new, subscribe. I'll keep us for, what, six more minutes? And then I want to go check the news and see what's going on. Yeah, they got Apple TV. It's coming across on my Roku now about Apple TV. And I'm thinking about maybe checking it out. I'll be watching some good movies. Did anybody watch that movie I recommended to y'all? The Banishing on 7th Street about AMC? 
If not, you missed a good movie. But I'm thinking, I could do movie reviews of movies that I watch streaming because I'm eating AMC popcorn while I'm watching my movie every day. Every day. I eat a bag of AMC popcorn every day as part of my diet. Joseph, it's not the point of who cares about voting. I first off, you should care about voting. All right. That is your way to share how you feel about things. Yeah, it's a good movie. It's going to really freak you out now that Iran done started the shit over there. You're going to watch Vanishing on 7th Street and say, uh-oh, and you're going to be praying. <laughs> but everybody should care to vote. That's the whole thing right there. That's why we I heard Mike the Marine did a video today. Shout out to Mike. Glad to see you shaking it off. And he was talking about this very thing. If there's so many synthetic shares, where are the voters? Well, the voters are sitting there going, I don't care. If we were to get enough votes sent in, which would still would never happen, the Venezuelan guy, I think it was, that said, it's not who you vote for, it's who counts the votes or some shit like that. All right. They're the ones that's in power, whoever counts the votes. And if they if they've hit it all this time and using all the ways they've used, do you not think they could rig a fucking corporate election? I feel you, Joseph, but do me a favor. With them fifteen thousand shares, will you care for me when you get your? Email, will you vote for me? That's all I'm saying is don't look at it as I don't care. Think about that's a part of how you can contribute to the community. Something as simple as vote your shares and vote your conscience. If you, if you disagree with me and you want to vote for Proposal number one, fine. Vote your conscience. Vote what you believe is best for you and the company. Same thing you're supposed to do when you go into the voting booth. I got an early voting message today. All right. So when I go down there, I got to make a decision. Am I going to vote Democrat? Am I going to vote Republican? What? I mean, no, I'm going to vote what's best for me and what I feel is best for this country. I'm not connected to no party. I was trying to talk. I was going to say something about AA being the silverback. That's not far. What you talking about, Andrew? That's not far from now. Shit like that. I seen the premiere for the new Planet of the Apes. Uh, I support Uncle Frank, too. Uh, He'll be probably talking about it soon. We need to set aside a day for Ape Day and everybody rent Planet of the Apes from AMC On Demand. And if you haven't seen them all, get all the Planet of the Apes before the new movie comes out and then go see it at the movies. There's all kind of ways you can support the company, people. Don't go for this. This I heard that motherfucker say last night. Well, the nearest 
uh, there's no AMC near me. And one of them makes a comment, well, I drive an hour and a half to go to an AMC theater. Well, you stupid. You could get it on demand at home and save the gas. Adam Aaron, I will agree with what you're saying about Adam Aaron is the largest AMC shareholder for the simple fact of individuals, okay? He's not the largest shareholder, all right? But as an individual person, yes, he probably has the most shares than anybody. But he's not the largest shareholder. I've been waiting on AMC and GME to do a, a, a joint venture. I thought they were fixing to have something going on when they started their NFT selling platform. And then we were coming out with all of our NFTs, movie NFTs and shit like that. I thought that was going to be a good hookup with us and GME and it, they didn't do it. But he never follows through on anything. Tell me one thing that motherfuckers follow through on. If you tell me popcorn, then I'm going to say, well, how come he won't give us an update on it? Tony and uh and the rest of them say, where is it at? Where's the money? It's in the food and beverage. Bullshit. Because I done pulled up the food and beverage for 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023. And you can see a steadily increase due to recovery from pandemic. But I don't see no fucking increase where you're going to convince me that we're if we were in 2700 Walmarts people was buying this shit by the boxes their carts were overflowed with AMC popcorn and you going to tell me we can't get a report on how much popcorn we sold it's in the food and beverage bullshit it was his baby project he ought to be wanting to report to us about Look at how well we're doing on the popcorn. Motherfucker, I'm down more than 90%. <laughs> I'm down more than 90%. And I had to learn to laugh about it. I don't talk about my position. All I can, all I'll say is I'm, I have a position. My daddy raised me. Never go through a woman's purse or a man's wallet. Ain't none of your business. And I live my life by that. I don't care how many shares someone has. Now you offer that information. Wonderful. 50,000 shares. I don't quite believe you, but it's possible. <laughs> But if you offer to tell me how much money you got, that's on you. I'm a broke motherfucker. I tell y'all like it is, me. I was on top of the world at one point in my life. Jeremiah, you've been around, dog. Is that? You got to be 100 years old. I remember Hitler. 50, 60, 70, 80. Yeah, you got to be 80 years old. We appreciate your service, sir. Those were men back then. You watch some of them movies. People watch movies and they, they don't take it in. When I'm watching them men as they stormed the beaches of Normandy and they were crawling over their dead fucking friends just to keep going to get to the Germans, I'm like, 
they would just drop the tailgate. Bloop. The rush, I mean, the Germans are shooting right into it. They're not even able to leave the fucking container they're in. They're getting slaughtered coming out of the fucking containers. And they're just climbing over dead bodies and they keep going. Let me tell you something, motherfuckers. Those were men. Those were soldiers. <laughs> For a man to get into that little container, swim across the fucking ocean, knowing that the second it drops, I'm, I'm dead. I'm on, I'm on the front row right here. You're dead. Men. Men with balls. Not men who wondered what pronoun to use. What's up, Roadrunner? I'm about to go. Y'all see how I'm sitting and everything because my back's killing me. I got to go watch a movie. What was I watching? Oh, my God. Man, I can't even look their direction. They're so mad at me. Walmart. They're looking at me going, Walmart's still open, Daddy. <laughs> All right, anything else? Y'all want any conspiracy theories before I go? Knock all you motherfuckers out. Three of them, they, they think they're going to crowd me. What's going on? All right, 45, 46 minutes. We're going to rise. If this war don't fuck our stock market up, which it probably will, we'll know Monday. Good God. Well, they're doing it now because BlackRock and the rest of them, just because our stock market's not open, other exchanges are open overseas. So they could be trading right now. These are international fucking bankers I don't seen dumb money it has to be a pretty damn good move for me to see it again oil stocks <laughs> what did Congress buy I bet you they all in war stocks and oil. Well, you had to imagine oil, but you gotta, you gotta. It's not how high the price can go. It's will you have a market to trade on people? What if, what if all this shit? I mean, think about the options that are, are at play here. If an EMP hits and knocks our electric grids out, we are fucked. And is that a strategy they're going to use? Absolutely. What about hackers? Because they were talking about today, right before the attack happened, hackers were destroying their banking systems and shit like that in Israel. And I'm, I'm sure that's probably got to be the Russians because I don't ever hear about nobody but Russian hackers. I don't know if any other country got a hacker. Well, hold on to your war stocks because them puppies is just getting started. It's going to be an all-out war. It might already be. I hadn't looked over there yet. Yeah. <laughs> Aggravating ass dogs. All right, getting ready to go. Oh, okay. Got to be careful with YouTube. 
I don't know if I should show you. I don't have a month worth of food. I don't have none of my own. Well, y'all could be talking crazy, 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 because I don't have no moderators tonight. Yes, they're going to be busy. Are they busy tonight? I'm probably. We'll be in martial law. Watch what I'm telling you. Within a week, Biden will call martial law. Because we're going to have all them fucking terrorists over here. Then comes the roundup. I don't think they're going to have an election. I don't believe they're going to have an election. We're not going to make it to an election. Out there where you live, Jamie. It's bad. It's bad right now. Wait till in the morning. Wait till in the morning. And they done struck Israel. I mean, struck Jerusalem. I don't understand. And that's stupid. You got the Dome of the Rock right there. What are you doing shooting at Jerusalem? Your holy site. You're going to end up destroying your own shit. Don't make no sense to me. But go by. This is where I'm conflicted here. Because you're raised. To not question the Jews. The Jews are God's people. All right. And the way this is beginning to unfold. Wow. I can't imagine the red heifer. That's what I'm talking about right now. I've got the red heifer in mind. Is that nobody throughout history has sat down and thought about. What's really about to happen? All right. The Jews are gonna have their way. They're gonna they're gonna have that sacrifice. And that that's gonna happen very soon. And that gets the priest and the tools ready to build the temple. Somewhere up in this time frame, the Antichrist stands up. And it'll be the most popular person on the planet. Write that down. Antichrist. Most popular person on planet. Now, right now, you can say, well, that's Taylor Swift. <laughs> Taylor Swift's the Antichrist. He'd be as popular as Taylor Swift throughout the world. So, when someone popular throughout the whole world stands up and declares peace in Israel again, there's another hint. Little alien, you coming in on the tail end. I'm looking at about five minutes left. I was just telling everybody my back was killing me sitting here like this. I never would have imagined that Israel, they can call it whatever they want, retaliation for what happened on October 7th, but you wasn't supposed to strike Iranian 
territory. I mean, that's off limits. If you strike another country's land, that's war. And Iran, even though you say they proxies of Iran, and Iran funds them, look at all the motherfuckers we fund. Yeah, bitch, Taylor Swift is related to Taylor Swift. <laughs> oh, thank you, little alien. That's awesome. Look over there. It's not. It's not the dog food or the water, because they're not over there. Over there is where the dog food is, and bear will lay in front of the bowl instead of saying something to me. Boomer will go knock a bowl over if it's empty. Bear just lays in front of it, but they're not over there. They're over here because they want me to go wrestle with them. Now, there's something interesting talking about miracles. If. Now, I can't say if. Because I was going to say if the Bible was true and this is the end times. No, it is true. And this is the end times. So, with that being the case, instead of just the doom and the gloom, like I just shared with y'all, people are ready for Jesus to come back. And do you understand that means that about Four to five billion people have to die first before Jesus can come back. Have you considered that? <laughs> Miracles will be starting to be performed again. People of God will lay hands on people again, and they will. So you better stop it. Are you doing that because you're mad at me? Oh, somebody can get that ass whooped. Go on. Jesus ain't the only one walked on water. What about Stephen? He transported. He was over here in this city, and they said in the next instant he was over here. Then well, how did you get to? Never mind. <laughs> Praise God. I thought the projection for the popcorn was like 40 to 50%. Last night I was listening to the CNN network. And they were saying 20 or 30%. And I'm going, what? Still 20% on a $5 bag of popcorn is a dollar. Yeah, they crazy, Mike. You want to live in Russia? <laughs> hey. I'd like to live in Nashville. Nashville is one of them places where it's just so beautiful. And it's located like perfect for the United States. Nashville, Kentucky. <laughs> Listen, I hear them saying that. 
the price of high crop is going up because of, and I, I'm picking my go because I've been an hour, but the price of high crop is going up because the price of gold is going up. Bullshit. When the price was gold, of gold was running up before, high crop didn't move. It amazes me how they can make these connections and just uh, expect me to swallow it. It's running up because gold's running up. It has nothing to do with it. Their gold is in the fucking ground. It's still in the ground. It's going to stay in the fucking ground. So what difference does the price of gold have? You can't get to the fucking gold. So it's worthless to you till you get it out of the ground. Then you tell me, oh, well, we got all this stockpile of gold. So now the price of gold will reflect. But because you say it's in the ground, come on, man. And it's just like earnings reports. They jumped up for earnings reports. Well, why the last five earnings reports, we fell. Your logic don't line up. But okay, that's it. I got to go get some updates, see what's going on. Let the dogs take me for a walk. Thank you again, little alien. That's awesome. Love y'all. Be blessed. See you in the next video.